Good morning guys! Welcome to my December tour of this 2020. It's just a matter of um, hours now guys before 2020 is over. And Happy New Year guys! Happy New Year to all! And thank you very much for um, watching my videos. Um, I'm I'm going to uh, make this tour because like I almost forgot guys honestly I almost forgot life's so busy that I I forgot my videos I'm so sorry but when I turn on the light in here around 9 a.m. oh my goodness I realized that my husband forgot to turn on the heater last night and around 9 a.m. when I open this door here turn on the light only says um, 10 Celsius and now it's 11 but it was just in the 50s 50 Fahrenheit now it's 51 uh, 51.8 Celsius something like that I mean Fahrenheit pardon me so I'm pretty sure like in the overnight inside here it was only like um in the high 40s but that's pretty cold for me that's my orchid cactus right there every time I pass by over there it always like um goes in my face look at this that's the original orchid cactus and that's a cutting look at that it loves to grow outside that's why it just went bushy the fan is on because like it's always chilly in here so I only water this one in here like um once every two weeks except for the for a few orchids like like Catlia and some Ancidium that you know like I water them once a week nothing really much going on except like they are like especially my dendrobium nobles they are some they are nurturing their um nubbins forming forming into um buds and this one here just taking its sweet time to open and i think i know why because this is chilly in here but the good thing also the flower lasts longer this one is just started opening today. This is my um, Siguris Taiwan Gold Orange. Beautiful swan orchid. And this one it's started cracking open. That one. And I think they are going to open all at the same time because they are all cracking. See? It's going to be beautiful. Except for that one. And that one behind right there. It's my own kiki this one um, there's a lot of buds it's done this one last year as well the, this little plants is, is spectacular last year I think it's gonna do that again today I mean this year look at that that's the first one but there are a lot lots of um, flower spikes forming there yeah I can always rely on my king you know that's the beauty of having um um multiple of this one because the other ones sometimes it it will like um wait a little later to produce some spikes and when the other one is started you always have flowers a success succession flowers and behind this one I can see some of the spikes awesome and that's my ATT volcano trick volcano queen it's opening yeah the thing about this cooler room in here they are they take long time to open just I mean like really produce their flowers but when they do open, it lasts longer. 
may nothing much going on here in the top except for some of the cattleya right there it has some sheath and this one here let's see nabins look how long this is stem the cane that didn't drop you because it was like in the shade cloth and it just went leggy I guess it went leggy the cane it, are just like look at there's there are three that grow so tall look at that over there I need I need uh, to stake them a long stake for them but they got some nubbins right there and that one right there look at that that's belong to the other one look at that Look, it's actually moving upward now, it's extending. I tell you guys, it's just, they're awesome. My dendrobium is gonna be spectacular, spectacular this February. Yeah. And look at this, she's always so advanced. This is my dendrobium yellow song canary, and I love, love that yellow, big yolk yellow, look at that. She's always, always had to be the winner. See, I can already count the buds in there, three three buds and then oh my goodness it's well formed buds now in there and this one behind this thing this is my angel lacy the drubium fancy angel lacy i have this one for like a um, five years but she only gave me one cakey this year I already removed it and potted it and hopefully she's gonna grow big just like the mama look at that she's very stingy guys she doesn't give me baby plant but she likes to blooms look at that but which I'm not complaining at all there's a lot I think there's like 12 or 13 could be 15 canes that has all these nubbins look at that even though she flowered outside in the fall. Just like that. It's a little over from the fall flowers. It's with, uh, winter now, but it's only like a few. But in February, it's going to be a lot, guys. She's always spectacular to me. And she's massive. When I planted her in the... Like, five years ago planted here in, in this um, clay pot, big clay pot. A lot of people frown on those like, um you know, a few canes and a big container. But I think um longer staying thing because I don't like to um repot. But look at the guys. They're filling in quite nicely and I haven't repotted this ever since. Well, I got this from Yamamoto Dendrobium. And then I transplant this over here. It was just a small plant, a few cane, uh, maybe two or three canes. And look, it's filling in, guys. It it didn't mind my lazy method because, as I figured out, if you if I um repot them constantly every two years. Then I would never get a flower because if I constant if I constantly disturbing the roots and they're constantly repairing their roots, I never see the flower. So yeah. That's why I don't like to repot them constantly. Except only if like they oh, they are um, coming out of their pots and the or the pot is broken like that. 
I, I really love that. <laughs> it looks like little fangs. They're all over, like around that thing. And this one as well. Look at that. Probably more over there. It's kind of hard, hard for me to reach there and check. But I'm pretty sure it's, it's a big plant as well. Uh, that one, it fell down outside and a big pot broke and I have a shorter like azalea plot. I mean, potted uh, pot, uh, clay pot. So I put that in the azalea clay pot. Look at that, but it used to be uh, just like that. And that's why you can see there are a lot of roots. I didn't have time to run to the store at the time. And that one, I did not expect that one to bloom. Because that one's giving up a lot of babies. And I did not expect it to bloom, but I've seen uh, a few nubbins there in the tent. So I'm not complaining. And this one. Taller than I am. Yeah. This is my poor man's orchid. Orange. The radicans. It was... It has a nice bloom outside. And I broke broke a piece of a kiki in there, which I would put in the water culture right now, and it seems to be happy. And this one right here, guys, look at that. Oh, look at, she's nurturing this beautiful, I guess one, two, three, four, maybe four or five, five buds soon. This one beautiful, my zygopetalum. It's the only zygopetalum of mine that it's not in the. It's not in the water. Um, semi hydro. Seems to like it. It's coming out of the pot now. The other side is like deader than dead. But it's moving. This is coming out right in this side. Uh, I'm so afraid to disturb the roots and I won't get any flowers so possibly it's gonna like, die. Uh, we'll see. But this one right here guys, I have three new growth in this one. Three new canes and all threes have sheath and this one it's opening. They're racing guys, they are racing. And this one is the winner. This is my ATT Vulcan Volcano Trick Volcano Queen. It's gonna be beautiful. That's one, number two, and number three is right there. Yeah, she's gonna be pretty. She's in here so that the flower is gonna last longer. Yes. And my ancidium. I have two ancidiums just flowering. Let me see if I can spot the other one. But this one is budding. I don't know, maybe it's. It's a forced flowering. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, the other one is in the floor. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. There. It's right there. Mm. Yeah, guys. Yep. That's the flower. Wow. Oh, this one? Oh, look at that! It's another bud form in this um, Dendrobium canes. Oh, the one in the corner over there. It's um, There's a couple of leafless um, cane in there. Got a lot of buddings too. Yes, that one. Look at that. A lot in here are just like um, the young ones that I, a couple years ago, they are just a babies. Now they have their own pots. And now they're producing flowers, even though they're smaller. Amazing. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to have succession flowerings in here. And this thing in here, I always wanted to repot this. Because like um they need so much water, especially in the summer they're in the clay pot and they are so bushy in there now. But I cannot um bring myself to break the pot. So right now they are huddled in there again, but they are starting nubbin. 
nabin nabin this is my uh, very compact dendrobium um, kurashiki beautiful very fragrant one and very prone to um very prone to um um stuff white white stuff mealy bugs yeah okay let me get up it's kind of tight squeeze in here let me see I'm trying not to um shake the camera so much don't want you to get dizzy guys hmm look at that semi hydro in there the semi hydro dendrobium one of my kiki it's the white one spring one of the sp spring bird I think if I'm not mistaken I put that outside because it's, it was covered with mealy bugs and I cannot deal with mealy bugs so much so I what I did is just take off all the leaves and I said okay we'll see what what this um dendrobium gonna do put this in the chill room in the concert of water in the basin and I thought it's gonna die but look how strong and you know resilient these dendrobiums are Instead, it grow it grow a new shoots right there, and it started um, nabins. I think a few of that nabins it would be um, it would be uh, kikis, yeah, which is okay. Like I said, I I like to um, mul multiply my own plants so that I don't have to keep buying them. And flowers is flowers to me as long as I have colors inside the house during winter. And this is what they do, you know. They give me flowers, especially in February when it's just so barren outside of colors, you know. I love them. So, let's go to tell you guys, Dendrobium nobilis are so resilient in my climate. Oh, look at this! <laughs> I haven't seen this one guys. This is the first time I've seen these babies. I, I put them tight tight in a stake right here because they were just growing and rolling and I thought they're not gonna make this uh, flower yet but they did look and the older canes one two three four. Oh my god I think oh somebody stole the tag but I suspected this is the baby of my um, yellow song canary. I, I know I would put a new label in that one when I see the flowers. Yeah. This one I'm this one I'm very careful about this this babies right here because I I really really want this to grow because I only have um one green in the dendrobium and it was so spectacular when it bloomed. In the, uh, in the summer outdoors and I really wanted more of those succession flowering look at that it's, it's... let me see I put a name yeah the Dendrobium Green our oh, Green Surprise Windy I said Indy you know I'm sorry guys it's Dendrobium Green Surprise Windy yeah it's Windy Windy that one and this one right here I just last this is only um planted outside in this big container outside uh, this here this is Komet King Akatsuki and looks like we're gonna see some flowers in the Akatsuki too in this pot I want it to I put it in the pot because they grow big as well and I don't want them to take over in the plastic container that's why they're in the clay pot and I'm running out of clay pot and this one is very slow the little pot oh this one this one this is the mother plant of my um dendrobium kingianum oof this one it's, it's losing to the um show the daughters are doing well but this one this is not more over there but this one's gonna flower too yeah it's just a matter of time yeah and this one here look this one it's facing the flower buds i mean spike it's facing that way because the light source is over there but there's one two 
three. Three hours. You can get them. It's a cutting of my, um, it fell out from my uh, spring cactus. I just put in a little soil and it seems to, to be okay. Ah, this is good. Let's go inside, guys. My hand's tired. You can see it's shaking. Okay, okay guys. We're in my, my inside dining area. And it's 72 degrees here. The furnace is on. Uh, no fun. Just, no. And I'm going to show you something. Something gross, guys. But, you know, just close your eyes. Close your eyes. There's something gross coming here. But before the grossness, I will show you how beautiful this my Monirara Millennium Magic Witchcraft. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? You've seen the first, if you, if you saw my previous, couple previous videos. These are only babies. And now look at that, you can see the color now. Dark, dark purple, almost black. Why it won't focus? I think my hand's shaking. Okay. I'm sorry. And it's so glossy, guys. Oh my god. Too bad they're not edible. I already been, I already ate them if they're edible. Oh focus, please. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. And look at this. Here goes the gross part, guys. This is how I control my um get rid actually get rid of the fungus nuts I mean last year and the year before I didn't mind the fungus nuts because this there are only like a few of them and they die you know my husband um make them die you know but this time is just overwhelming because like I put in um soil from the store and because I have added new plants like begonias and then the soil uh, maybe covered I mean there's a lot of eggs in them fungus nuts I tried water and peroxide but that takes a long time effect I think but look look at guys this is like um, maybe a week old in here I mean when I put this one in here the first day this it all already catches a lot but in a few days look at that <laughs> gross guys looking at that my face is tightening like I feel like it's <laughs> I don't want to stare at it I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change that today with my. Of course, I'm wearing gloves. That's what it is, guys. This is my my husband bought this because it bothers him too. Some people say that they don't fly high, but they do. They go in living room, bathroom, everywhere, and it bugs us. How many coffee get we have to dump because like they they do kamikaze stuff in our like beverages see we just put in there and look oh i'm saving some seeds with the butternut a buttercup it's a buttercup seeds i'm saving that this is lovely leaves angel wing begonia but look isn't that terrible guys Oof. so gross i'm not maybe i will make my husband take that away from me my mini 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 fall, miniature, so gross. Yuck. And this fall in here, red flowering, secondary spike. And what else going on? Oh, look at that. That side and this side. When this one, that yellow holder, there's only two enclosed with um in the box. So the other one I just lay on top of the in the pot the, with the soil this is um epithelum unforgettable i think red color the orchid cactus and the other one is pink this one in there they are growing nice too look at this that's why i got plenty of, of uh, fungus nuts because of the soil yeah and the yellow cactus is almost and it's only one flower left and look at that white spike of my semi hydro fall oh boy guys and the best thing that has happened here this is a baby of my uh, poor man's orchid 
my orange um, radicant. Look, it's giving me a flower spikes, guys. Look, the mama plants had flower had a flower during the summer, and the baby just started. And then the flower usually lasts longer. And that's another one, two, and that's another one. Three guys, at least. I hope. I hope there's more, but so far that's very significant uh, numbers already, guys. Look at that. Uh, very, very excited. And the semi-hydrofall right there. And look at that color. That's why I like begonias now with different colors. I just patted that in there. I may need to put a yellow paper in there too. But I haven't seen um flying around it. Not all the soil that I brought in that has a flyers in there. Flying insects. So only the one if I notice something flying around, then I put the yellow paper. More yellow paper here. My dancing lady finally it's over and my cacti collection my thanksgiving collection only a few was left a lot of them dried up and went to the floor i'm gonna have to vacuum them i've been vacuuming them and then they keep falling and some of them they grow some seed pad like that i don't know what to do with that just take them off there's a lot actually of seed buds wonder why so somehow they get pollinated so this one here I broke off this long 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 spike there I broke it off because it fell off I it got snagged on my clothes and it just fell off and it looks like it's giving me a kiki oh, come on please there We'll see what happened to that. And look at that, guys. Poor thing. It's really is wanted to go out of the pot. Yeah, this below there is probably dead now. Now it's only surviving in the aerial roots. Look at that. And this one right here too. Look at that, guys. Aerial roots. I can't. I don't know, even know. I think I'm just gonna um. Put this in the big basket of um new bark mix big ones because there's a lot of long um aerial roots and it's got a spike right there and the secondary spike look at that guys yeah my goodness and look at this first flower extended one this is from the old spike it's so big now. I have to always check in here if there's uh, mealy bugs hidden in here because if I see baby mealy bugs, I just rip off the flowers. I don't like to deal with mealy bugs. Uh -uh. I just rip the flowers off and now it's growing out. It's growing another, another spike and a secondary spike there. It looks like there are two. One, two. Yep. Yeah. And look at that, guys. Ooh. <laughs> A beauty of um African violets. Yeah. Wow, eh? So gorgeous. And the last of my yellow. Got to see. Yes. Oh boy. Oh. I'm growing my own sweet potato slip. I can see roots now. There are two of them. The other one's purple. And look at that. Another yellow paper beside the uh, begonias. And this is my um, Amaryllis Papelio Butterfly. I have to order one because I just love the color on that one. Oh, it started budding. That African violets. What a surprise. Surprise, surprise. And the last two of my um, Chocolate Drop Doris. Kalia. <laughs> Beautiful and sweet smelling ones. 
Look at that. They don't last, the flower here, they don't last longer, only like maybe three weeks because it's um, warmer here than the other room. The other room, they last maybe a couple of months. Yeah. And these are my babies that I nurtured. My future happiness is in here. <laughs> oh boy. There's a lot in here, guys. I baby them. Okay. And welcome to my jungle of a base ba uh, garage, guys. My car had to stay outside because of this. And I had a big surprise here. This is one of the Oh, cymbidiums that I put outside. Oh my god, it's so hard to water this one in here. I'll just put the water in the bottom. But look, I didn't even realize that it produces this flat, this um, buds in here. Until, I mean, oh, I found this out two weeks ago. Oh my god, and it's already like this. And then we were just bump. my husband kept bumping it around, moving stuff when we had a blizzard. And then I saw buds, I mean, couple of buds got squashed in the floor. I said, oh, what is that? Oh my God, did I look? Oh my God, I feel bad. I didn't even notice this one is, is like um, blooming. I mean, making some um, beautiful buds, flower forming for me. This is a nice symbidium. They, they turn yellow because I cannot water them from the top. It's cold outside and I don't want to... Uh, uh, I don't have the what's that the big um, fan in here I have the little oh my something got dropped in here oh my god it's being abused look at the guys they got, they got dropped in there I'm so sorry same video because we don't have um, the proper room for you I didn't really like check them out guys you know oh my gosh and when I was watering this um, last weekend, I like to water it every two weeks too, you know. I noticed that what that citrus there is um, stressed enough to produce um, flowers. This is my tangerine, I believe. Yeah, yeah, they produce flowers now over there in the far side, the other side. The flowers, I I prone thrown it so much because like I uh, keep poking my husband's eye every time he moves it and it got um, repotted this bigger container oh, yeah. and this one this is from um, my husband um, gave me flowers um, in, a, in, a, in a vase there's a filler this plant is a filler and for some reason I, um, it grow I stuck it in this pot outside it grow and it flower underneath uh, the leaves look at that I don't know what kind of plant is that. So, citrus, 